Hello everyone! This is Finch Duck here, uh, back with some more Let's Play, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. And uh, in the last episode, we uh, uh, did some more missions here in uh, Menace in the North A, or Menace from the North A. I'm still not sure which one it is, because in the episode select menu, it's called Menace in, in the North. And then in the uh, episode select screen, or, or the uh, fucking uh, intro cutscene, it's called uh, Menace from the North. I don't know, but uh, yeah, we did some more missions. We uh, put a uh, an, uh, uh, the something array, like a thing that lets us uh, listen in on John Basson uh, with the uh, transmitters in the bear's mouths, and then we also redirected the laser to get the log chopping guide, and there was a mammoth. Uh, they ran off screen like uh, we could still see their like model. Uh, behind the building when they ran off and it was it was a very funny HD collection moment but yeah we also started this which is uh, the RC combat club and uh, what we are here to do is to get some inside information from these uh, guards here from the um, a rainbow light battery or whatever it was called no not rainbow light fucking uh, northern light battery yeah uh, and, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, uh, that's about it, what, uh, took place in the last episode. I think we got all the bottles in the last episode as well. Yeah, we did. Okay. And we also got the, uh, lightning spin, which I completely neglected to show off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we also got this. That That's our objective. It's a, it's a moose head. And the guards are moose. Like I said, I think I said this at the end of the last episode, but uh, it has some very morbid implications. Anyway, let's go hide in this barrel. I think I think I showed off and said that both Bentley and Murray can also hide in barrels, just like Sly. But uh, this one's uh, this was definitely a doozy. <laughs> Sly, if you can get the stuffed moosehead without being detected. Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Yeah, okay, so now we're playing as Sly, as you can see. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if anyone's in here. <laughs> it's such a tight fit, he... <laughs> I don't know why, but this, this shit always cracks me up when, like, he... He's trying so hard to fit in there. But, uh... Yeah, um, we're gonna go and, uh, do some, uh, RC combating or getting some stuff to get some stuff. Yeah, okay, so, one thing I like to do in this mission is, uh, like, because you see this four guards in here, and, uh, one thing, one thing I like to do in this mission is to, uh, continuously fail it and pretty much grind for money. Uh, I don't do that that much these days, but it, it was definitely something I did a lot uh, when I was younger and when I was trapped for cash. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that you can't kill them. But it does make sense since you pretty much you need these guards. And Murray disappeared. He's gone. Well... Uh, 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 well, let's carry on. I don't, I don't think we're getting him back anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, fuck you. None of you have stuff, so I'm, I'm just gonna fail the mission and get some more, more money. But yeah, this is basically what I did. I pretty much killed one of the guards and then failed the mission so that the enemies would respawn and then they would have, like, new pockets, so to speak. Oh, no. Ooh, we got three guards with shiny pockets. That's pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna at least intentionally fail uh, beyond this uh, this attempt. So I'm just gonna try and go to the fucking place where we need to go, which is the moose head. <clears throat> and unfortunately, because uh, uh, we can't fight guards and we can't kill them, that also means I can't show off the uh, lightning spin, which I should have really should have shown off in the last episode. I think I even said 
that, oh, I should show it off, and then I didn't show it out. I think I, yeah, I have it mapped to L1. I have it mapped to L L1, but yeah, uh, anyway, this mission, I like it quite a lot. Or, well, I, uh, a lot is, uh, might be a bit overselling it. Also, also, we have this thing. Uh, this is this looks very safe. Uh, but yeah, uh, I like this mission uh, a moderate amount, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I don't think or have I said? I think I said that I don't think there's a single like completely bad mission in this level. But I do think this might be my least favorite, maybe. Uh, I do like this platforming pl part with Sly, I, I, I do, and <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I guess presentation-wise, this, this job is very, very, very entertaining, but there's a part, uh, which is, which comes after this, that, uh, it's, it's a little, uh, mm, it's, a, it's, it's alright, but it, it could be, it could be, definitely could be better, but anyway, here's the moose head. And this is where things get good, and also not as good. Let's go! Murray, heads up! Hey fellas! Any of you guys think you can beat the mur- uh, The moose? Maybe put a bet on it! Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? That RC combat drone takes some skill to control. Steer with the left analog stick and hold down the X button for gas. After you collect the fallen ammo, press the square button to fire its turret. Here's a pro tip. You can only aim the turret while you're stopped. Yeah, okay, so, this is the part that I was talking about, because, for one, like Bentley said, you can't aim the turret unless you're stopped, and also this guy's cheating, he has a fucking flamethrower, and I only have some dinky, uh, uh, turret. Anyway, yeah, but, uh, uh, Murray with the moose head is the fucking funniest thing ever, and, uh, I like it quite a lot, but yeah, this is the part what I was talking about, this, this part is alright, but could be better because the tank controls are well we we've, we've got over some tank controls before but I do, I do think like this one controls a lot better than the other tank so you know but yeah uh, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of this one it's all right it's, it's fine but like eh. uh, but thankfully this isn't like a huge fucking like outlier like some of the other ones are or like yeah it's it's not like a huge outlier at least in terms of the whole mission because there's still that uh part with the platforming and like i like the other one like the uh laser redirection uh oh fucking hell come on uh uh yeah uh, like the laser d redirection i do like the uh platforming part inside the sawmill. Aw, oh, yeah, I fucking stunlocked him, or, uh, knocked him over so that I can stunlock him, I guess. Okay. Oh, there we go. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh, well, I guess I owe ya. His his fucking model was frozen and it looked really weird. Anyway, whatever. Let's move on. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest. 
grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blip. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Yeah! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, as you saw there, if we go inside the battery, when it's still... That Arpeggio always lorded his la di da blip over me. If he were so called darn smart, I'd use him for kindling. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh god. Okay, but yeah, um, uh, we got a fucking ton of money again. Uh, who should we go out with? I don't actually know. I hear what you're saying, Doug, but when I look at a grove of trees, I see commerce. Okay, uh, let's go with Bentley, actually, and I should show off his, his thingy. I, I, I feel like I did have, like, a fucking amount, or a fucking mission or order that I wanted to do these missions in, but I, I, I've already fucking forgotten. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh god, oh god, come on, Bentley, you can do it! Thank god, okay. But yeah, uh, the reduction bomb, uh, uh, I can show it off here, shrink the enemies in the area. So, uh, if you guys remember, we got the size destabilizer, like, fucking long time ago. Oh, Murray's mission is almost in the same place as the other one. Anyway, but yeah, we got the uh, size destabilizer, or, or, like, in the second episode. So this is basically the same idea, except it's, uh, uh, it's a bomb, and <laughs> it, it's a small little duck. Oh god, the bear decided to join in! Okay, but it, it doesn't last very long, unfortunately. But the uh, radius is pretty pretty impressive. Now it's coming at, going after the ducks, which is very cool. Anyway, let's go over there and do some boat hacking, because that's what we do in this bitch. Hopefully, hopefully, I, I think we're not gonna do slice mission until the next episode. So I really hope I won't forget to like show off the lightning spin because I still haven't shown it off and I fucking fell into the water like a stupid piece of shit. Anyway, yeah. Uh, also, I should maybe uh, once uh, at some point, I should maybe, I don't know, I think they're still valid in this HD collection, but I should show off the, um, uh, uh, what's his face? The, uh, 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 the, uh, fucking, fucking, uh, 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 damn it. Uh, the, uh, shut up. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. <laughs> okay, but yeah, uh, I should put the adrenaline line burst. Back to L. Oh, fucking hell. Come on! I'm just gonna. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. Now to hack the steering controls. Yeah. You okay? There's a guard right next to you. Okay, they, they're they leaving. But yeah, uh, uh, if, if, uh, if I remember and if they work in this HD collection, I should show off the cheat codes for, uh, this game. I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure at least, I think one of them works in the HD collection. I'm not sure if all of them do, but there's some neato cheat codes in this game, and, uh, 
I don't know if... Actually, yeah, I think I think you might only be able to use them if you have 100%, but, uh, whatever. Anyway, let's, let's do some hacking. Oh, he didn't say anything. Right. And he's still not saying anything. Okay, so we got some new enemies again. The, those white ones, which are very different from what we've uh, faced thus far. And uh, instead of firing protect projectiles or or just coming at you really fast, uh, they they leave mines, which is um, very interesting. Also, I'm I'm shocked that someone like John Besson actually has like fucking hacking security or computer security, but uh, whatever. Maybe fucking. Arpeggio help him with it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this mission uh, is basically all this. It's basically just us going around hacking some boats. And I do, I do like this mission. This might be my uh, favorite of the uh, hacking missions. Nice work hacking the autopilot. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me, and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. Also, here's a funny glitch that I might not be able to do. Okay. <laughs> now I look like a fucking idiot. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the, okay, he doesn't say anything funny like ben, uh, Murray did. There we go. Hooks in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, there's a there's a glitch in the uh, when you, when the boat. Oh, uh, Murray. Okay. Yeah, but there's a, a glitch when uh, the boat is moving. If you leave a bomb, there's a chance. Uh, I think there's at least like a chance that uh, a Bentley will fall through the floor or the uh, the thing that the uh, bleh, the uh, uh, what's his face the uh, well I guess you can say it's a floor floor the floor of the boat. Uh, but yeah, you can fall through it and you'll take damage. It's pretty funny, but uh, yeah uh, Let's throw him into the second boat of the day Get in there Okay, so yeah, okay, let's just fucking get the boat running with the computer Let's fucking go uh, Yeah, uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah, uh uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite of the uh, different hacking missions because it's it's I like how it's uh, like a team effort like Murray has to throw Bentley onto the boats and then Sly needs to grab the um, uh, Hook to attach it to the uh, light battery in all honesty We probably should have done this after like shutting down the charger so that there really wouldn't be any like charge left because now that it, when we do it later it doesn't necessarily like <laughs> work but uh whatever uh we, we we can we can manage probably maybe also uh just a little bit of uh <laughs> um i don't know uh, uh, uh a neat little factoid i completely forgot to Put my timer on when I started recording, and now I have no idea how long we are into the episode. But hopefully, hopefully this won't become like super long and super short. I'm I'm trying to like uh, estimate where exactly we are in the. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's especially funny when it happens in the cutscene <laughs> or the the. When the little animation when he's running to the uh, harpoon or whatever this is, come on, Sly, you can do better than that. I believe in you. Okay. Maybe now. Nope. A little higher. There we go. The second hook's in place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on empty. Yeah, except the charge that will come in from the battery charger. I guess I guess it isn't like continuously charging it question mark. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's get to this second boat. I mean third boat and hello. What could that be over there? I do wonder. Hello, it's our old friend from the laser job. I was wondering what happened to that guy. 
Guess he just prefers to be frozen. <laughs> that's that's really funny. Anyway, let's hack the third. Bleh. Let's hack the third boat and see what happens. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about stuff, but I, I've completely forgotten. And there are a fucking ton of these fucking enemies in my way. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the reason, by the way, because I fucking forgot my... I lost my train of thought again because I was thinking about a fucking seven million different things. But I think the reason why I like this uh, the best compared to all the other ones, well... Actually, what the fuck am I even saying? <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh, this mission uh, has you go around the overworld uh, and like hack the all these different computers. But yeah, uh, there's there's another mission in the next episode actually that also has you do basically the same thing. But again, I do like how this is like a co a coordinate. I can't speak English, but a coordinated team effort between all three members of the Cooper gang, which is, I, I think that's, I think that's really cool. So, yeah, uh, they all get to have some, some, yeah, <laughs> they all get to have some, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, do the glitch again. I think it needs to actually be right next to the harpoon, maybe. Let's, let's try doing, like, multiple bombs. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know why it happens, but it's, it's, it's a funny one. It's something that happens, but yeah, uh, uh, I f forgot again what I was saying, but yeah, I like this mission, this is probably my favorite of the hack missions, like I've said like three or four times now, uh, uh, but there is one later on that has, we, has us like going around to the different computers in the next episode uh, as well, but uh, I like the coordinated three uh, team effort between Bentley, Sly, and Murray. So, that's nice. Uh, and it's also part of the, uh, uh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that flew away, like, a really long distance. Okay, but, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I also like how this is part of the whole, uh, let's get the battery, let's get inside the battery, uh, <laughs> storyline, I guess. I did it! With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. A fucking raw. Let's do it. Anyway, let's fucking do it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any more jobs in this episode. I think I'm just gonna uh, leave the rest. Hopefully the rest. I mean, we're probably not gonna do the operation in this uh, in the next episode. So it's not actually the rest. Come on! Fucking fine. Let's die. Let's die and not. I wanted to get a piece of loot. Come on. Oh well. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Actually, I do kind of give a fuck. Why did you do that? How did he kill even? That test should have been more careful. Well, that's what you get for being too bookish. Always gotta be on guard. There's grizzlies around every crook and hollow. Thank you, John Basson. Anyway, I'm finished with this being Let's Play. Slide to Band of Thieves. I'm very sad because we didn't get to get a piece of loot, but I'll fucking get it off screen. I'll go here so. Jiminy, that thief of raccoon messed up my iron horses. Makes me better than a white prairie dog. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this being Let's Play, Slide to Band of Thieves. And in the next episode, I'm gonna go out so that we don't have to hear John Basson and I have to shut up all the time. But in the next episode, we're probably gonna do Lighthouse Break-In, and then we're gonna do go meet the old Grizzle face, and I think we're gonna, uh, like, get him to, uh, get some, or uh, break some oil wells or whatever. But yeah, we're gonna do that, so, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then.